Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a and a just to ease myself back into making videos for you guys. I have took a bit of time off but that was because I was so crazy with work. So I'm back now and hopefully 2016 will be jam-packed with amazing videos. I also got a really good new camera for Christmas so yeah the videos are going to be amazing so let me get let me know what you guys think of the quality um, and if I keep looking over here I'm sorry it's because it's filming through my laptop and I can see on my laptop screen what's going on just in case I keep looking over there you know why. I have all the questions on my phone here on my phone and I'm so the first question is what inspired you to come back to YouTube? Well, I love making videos, I always have. I've done YouTube for three years now, I think. And to be quite honest, the only reason I took a break was because of work. I work in retail, so Christmas time in retail is crazy. So yeah, I just really wanted to come back. I really missed making videos and yeah, I just really wanted to come back. Um, Where do you gather your inspiration for creating videos in the first place? So for my inspiration, it really depends. Like if it's a makeup tutorial, it could be a new product I've bought that I really wanna try out, or it could be a season. So for instance, festive seasons, I'll do like festive looks. Halloween, I love doing special effects makeup. Um, so basically, yeah, time of year, and then if I've got new products that I just really wanna try out, or if I see a tag video that's really, really interesting, those kind of things inspire me question is any new year resolutions and yeah I've got a couple so one is to get fit I suppose that's everyone's new year's resolution but I really need to get fit I can't even walk up the stairs without being out of breath so get fit another one is to pass my driving test I have had my learner's permit for five years and I desperately need to pass my driving test so then the third thing is to make better and to make more and better quality videos and just upload tons more for you guys and also another one is to stay on top of my blog if you guys didn't know I had a blog I'll link it down in the description box um what else yeah I think that's it I do have a blog post on my new year's resolution though and that will be down in the description box it also has my goals for 2016 as well and then the next question is favorite high-end and drugstore beauty products. So at the minute, I got this for Christmas from my sister. And it's the Manizer Sisters um, palette that has all three um, highlighters from the Bam. So you've got the um, Betty Luminizer, Cindy Luminizer, and Mary Luminizer. So I've been loving that. I'm pretty sure that's a high-end product. Another high-end product is my MAC lipstick. I love MAC lipsticks. This one's in Spirit and it just looks like this. It's a gorgeous brownie nude. I'm actually wearing it today. The next thing, I don't know if these are high-end or not, but the next thing is definitely Inglot products. So for drugstore products, I love the Penny's Pressed Pro Powder. and um, Mine is in the colour Light, which is the lightest colour, I think, and I've hit pan on it and I've broke it. But these are only €2.50 and I use this as my everyday powder. Also from the drugstore is the Revlon Colorstay Foundation. This stuff is amazing. I have two different shades, one for when I'm a bit more tanned and for going out. And then the other one is my light everyday one in the colour 150 Buff, which is the lightest shade, I think. And yeah, I love this and it retails for about €18. Euro. And then the next thing is my Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff is amazing. My eyeshadow does not budge. Plus it's got colour in it so it counteracts all the veins and everything. And it's just an amazing little product. And I think this is around 350 So yeah. Next is what is your go-to makeup look for a night out? So I'm constantly changing my makeup if I'm going out. I never wear the same look more than once, really. I just, <laughs> I don't know why. Lately, I've been loving cut creases with like a super glittery pigment or I'll do a really, really dark brown smoky eye 
or I'll just go really, really natural with um, a big winged liner and a bright red lip, 1950s style. So yeah, I, it really depends. I could wear any kind of makeup. Next is what made you start YouTube? I answered this a while ago and the reason I started YouTube was because I left school at 17 and I was bored, I had nothing to do um, and then I came across the beauty environment on YouTube and I thought it was amazing and for years I sat and recorded videos and deleted them because I was too embarrassed to upload them and then my boyfriend actually convinced me to just do it, don't care what anybody else says, just do it. So I did and that's when I started my channel and yeah, I haven't looked back. Next question is, what course have you done or slash are you doing in college? Um, okay, so I did a makeup artistry course last year in college. I just graduated. Um, I qualified and everything. I passed all my exams, which I am delighted about. So I did the iTech, I think it's a level three, fashion, theater and media makeup course. And it was a part-time course, one day a week. Um, from, I think I did it for about nine months. I started in November 2014 and finished in July 2015. So yeah, that's the course I did and I definitely recommend doing a ton of research. I do have a whole video on my college experience which I'll link down below. So make sure you go and check that out if you want to know more. And then the last question is, what's one makeup product you can't leave the house without? If I had to pick one product that I couldn't go outside without, it would definitely be concealer because I suffer with really bad under eye circles. They're so dark all the time. No matter what I do, I could drink a ton of water. It still doesn't get rid of them. Um, so I'd definitely say concealer. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely check them out and reply to you guys. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. And I'll leave all my social media links down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.